The Egyptian language was spoken in ancient Egypt and was a branch of the Afro-Asiatic languages. Its attestation stretches over an extraordinarily long time, from the Old Egyptian stage mid-3rd millennium BC, Old Kingdom of Egypt. Its earliest known complete written sentence has been dated to about 2690 BC, which makes it one of the oldest recorded languages known, along with Sumerian. Its classical form is known as Middle Egyptian, the vernacular of the Middle Kingdom of Egypt which remained the literary language of Egypt until the Roman period. The spoken language had evolved into Demotic by the time of classical antiquity, and finally into Coptic by the time of Christianization. Spoken Coptic was almost extinct by the 17th century, but it remains in use as the liturgical language of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Classification. The Egyptian language belongs to the Afroasiatic language family. Among the typological features of Egyptian that are typically Afroasiatic are its fusional morphology, nonconcatenative morphology, a series of emphatic consonants, a three vowel system, a i u, nominal feminine suffix asterisk at, nominal m, adjectival asterisk i, and characteristic personal verbal affixes. Of the other Afroasiatic branches, linguists have variously suggested that the Egyptian language shares its greatest affinities with Berber, and Semitic. In Egyptian, the Proto Afroasiatic voiced consonants asterisk, dz, developed into pharyngeal, r, t, portal, Semitic dalt. Door. Afroasiatic asterisk, l, merged with Egyptian n, r, and j in the dialect on which the written language was based, but it was preserved in other Egyptian varieties. Original asterisk, kgk, palatalized to j in some environments and are preserved as kgq in others. The Egyptian language has many baradical and perhaps monoradical roots, in contrast to the Semitic preference for triradical roots. Egyptian is probably more conservative, and Semitic likely underwent later regularizations converting roots into the triradical pattern. Although Egyptian is the oldest Afroasiatic language documented in written form, its morphological repertoire is very different from that of the rest of the Afroasiatic, in general, and Semitic, in particular. There are multiple possibilities. Egyptian had already undergone radical changes from Proto Afroasiatic before it was recorded. The Afroasiatic family has so far been studied with an excessively semitocentric approach, or, as G. W. Saratelli suggests, Afroasiatic is an allogenetic rather than a genetic group of languages. History The Egyptian language is conventionally grouped into six major chronological divisions. Archaic Egyptian before 2600 BC, the reconstructed language of the early dynastic period. Old Egyptian c. 2000 BC, the language of the Old Kingdom. Middle Egyptian c. 2000 to 1350 BC, the language of the Middle Kingdom to Early New Kingdom and continuing on as a literary language into the 4th century. Late Egyptian, c. 1350 to 700 BC, Amarna period to Third Intermediate period. Demotic, c. 700 BC AD 400, the vernacular of the late period, Ptolemaic and Early Roman Egypt. Coptic after c. 200 AD, the vernacular at the time of Christianization, and liturgical language of Egyptian Christianity, Old, Middle, and Late Egyptian were all written using both the hieroglyphic and hieratic scripts. Demotic is the name of the script derived from hieratic beginning in the 7th century BC. The Coptic alphabet was derived from the Greek alphabet, with adaptations for Egyptian phonology. It was first developed in the Ptolemaic period, and gradually replaced the Demotic script in about the 4th to 5th centuries CE. <inaudible> <inaudible> Old Egyptian The term, Archaic Egyptian, is sometimes reserved for the earliest use of hieroglyphs, from the late 4th through the early 3rd millennia BC. At the earliest stage, around 3300 BC, hieroglyphs were not a fully developed writing system, being at a transitional stage of proto writing. Over the time leading up to the 27th century BC, grammatical features such as nisba formation can be seen to occur. Old Egyptian is dated from the oldest known complete sentence, including a finite verb, which has been found. Discovered in the tomb of Seth Peribson, dated c. 
2690 BC, the seal impression reads Extensive texts appear from about 2600 BC. The pyramid texts are the largest body of literature written in this phase of the language. One of its distinguishing characteristics is the tripling of ideograms, phonograms, and determinatives to indicate the plural. Overall, it does not differ significantly from Middle Egyptian, the classical stage of the language, though it is based on a different dialect. In the period of the Third Dynasty c. 2675 c. 2575 BC, many of the principles of hieroglyphic writing were regularized. From that time on, until the script was supplanted by an early version of Coptic about the 3rd and 4th centuries AD, the system remained virtually unchanged. Even the number of signs used remained constant at about 700 for more than 2,000 years. Middle Egyptian Middle Egyptian was spoken for about 700 years, beginning around 2000 BC. As the classical variant of Egyptian, Middle Egyptian is the best documented variety of the language, and has attracted the most attention by far from Egyptology. Whilst most Middle Egyptian is seen written on monuments by hieroglyphs, it was also written using a cursive variant, and the related hieratic, Middle Egyptian first became available to modern scholarship with the decipherment of hieroglyphs in the early 19th century. The first grammar of Middle Egyptian was published by Adolf Ehrman in 1894, surpassed in 1927 by Alan Gardner's work. Middle Egyptian has been well understood since then, although certain points of the verbal inflection remained open to revision until the mid 20th century, notably due to the contributions of Hans Jakob Polotsky. The Middle Egyptian stage is taken to have ended around the 14th century BC, giving rise to Late Egyptian. This transition was taking place in the later period of the 18th dynasty of Egypt, known as the Amarna period. Middle Egyptian was retained as a literary standard language, and in this usage survived until the Christianization of Roman Egypt in the 4th century CE. <laughs> Late Egyptian Late Egyptian, appearing around 1350 BC, is represented by a large body of religious and secular literature, comprising such examples as the story of Wenamun, the love poems of the Chester Beatty I Papyrus, and the instruction of Eni. Instructions became a popular literary genre of the New Kingdom, which took the form of advice on proper behavior. Late Egyptian was also the language of New Kingdom administration. The Bible contains some words, terms, and names that are thought by scholars to be Egyptian in origin. An example of this is Zaphnath Pania, the Egyptian name given to Joseph. Demotic and Coptic Demotic is the name given to the Egyptian vernacular of the Late and Ptolemaic periods. It was written in the Demotic script, derived from a northern variety of hieratic writing. Coptic is the name given to the stage of the language at the time of Christianization. It survived into the medieval period, but by the 16th century was dwindling rapidly due to the persecution of Coptic Christians under the Mamluks. It probably survived in the Egyptian countryside as a spoken language for several centuries after that. Coptic survives as the liturgical language of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria and the Coptic Catholic Church. Dialects Pre-Coptic Egyptian does not show great dialectal differences in the written language because of the centralized nature of Egyptian society. However, differences must have existed in speech because a letter from c. 1200 BC complains that the language of a correspondent is as unintelligible as the speech of a northern Egyptian to a southerner. Recently, some evidence of internal dialects has been found in pairs of similar words in Egyptian that, based on similarities with later dialects of Coptic, may be derived from northern and southern dialects of Egyptian. Written Coptic has five major dialects, which differ mainly in graphic conventions, most notably the Southern Sidic dialect, the main classical dialect, and the Northern Boharic dialect, currently used in Coptic church services. Orthography Most surviving texts in the Egyptian language are written on stone in hieroglyphs. 
The native name for Egyptian hieroglyphic writing is Zn Medo Enter, writing of the gods' words. However, in antiquity, most texts were written on perishable papyrus in hieratic and later demotic, which are now lost. There was also a form of cursive hieroglyphs, used for religious documents on papyrus, such as the Book of the Dead of the 20th dynasty. It was simpler to write than the hieroglyphs in stone inscriptions, but it was not as cursive as hieratic and lacked the wide use of ligatures. Additionally, there was a variety of stone cut hieratic, known as lapidary hieratic. In the language's final stage of development, the Coptic alphabet replaced the older writing system. Hieroglyphs are employed in two ways in Egyptian texts, as ideograms to represent the idea depicted by the pictures and, more commonly, as phonograms to represent their phonetic value. As the phonetic realization of Egyptian cannot be known with certainty, Egyptologists use a system of transliteration to denote each sound that could be represented by a uniliteral hieroglyph. Phonology While the consonantal phonology of the Egyptian language may be reconstructed, the exact phonetics are unknown, and there are varying opinions on how to classify the individual phonemes. In addition, because Egyptian is recorded over a full 2,000 years, the archaic and late stages being separated by the amount of time that separates Old Latin from modern Italian, significant phonetic changes must have occurred during that lengthy time frame. Phonologically, Egyptian contrasted labial, alveolar, palatal, velar, uvular, pharyngeal, and glottal consonants in a distribution rather similar to that of Arabic. Egyptian also contrasted voiceless and emphatic consonants, as with other Afroasiatic languages, but exactly how the emphatic consonants were realized is unknown. Early research had assumed that the opposition in stops was one of voicing, but it is now thought to be either one of tenuous and emphatic consonants, as in many Semitic languages, or one of aspirated and ejective consonants, as in many Cushitic languages. Since vowels were not written until Coptic, reconstructions of the Egyptian vowel system are much more uncertain and rely mainly on evidence from Coptic and records of Egyptian words, especially proper nouns, in other languages, writing systems. Also, scribal errors provide evidence of changes in pronunciation over time. The actual pronunciations reconstructed by such means are used only by a few specialists in the language. For all other purposes, the Egyptological pronunciation is used, but it often bears little resemblance to what is known of how Egyptian was pronounced. Topic: <laughs> Consonants. The following consonants are reconstructed for archaic before 2600 BC and Old Egyptian 2686-2181 BC with IPA equivalents in square brackets if they differ from the usual transcription scheme. Asterisk possibly unvoiced adjectives. L has no independent representation in the hieroglyphic orthography and it is frequently written as if it were n or r. That is probably because the standard for written Egyptian is based on a dialect in which l had merged with other sonorants. Also, the rare cases of occurring are not represented. The phoneme j is written as j in initial position jt. Topic: asterisk ya tvj father and immediately after a stressed vowel bjn. Asterisk, ba jin, bad, and as jj word medially immediately before a stressed vowel jjk. Topic asterisk, kaya jack, you will appear and are unmarked word finally jt, ya tvj, father, in Middle Egyptian, 2055 to 1650 BC, a number of consonantal shifts take place. By the beginning of the Middle Kingdom period, z, and, s, had merged, and the graphemes s and z are used interchangeably. In addition, j, had become, Word initially in an unstressed syllable, jwn, ya win, greater than asterisk, a win, color, and after a stressed vowel, hej po asterisk, huj pvw, greater than, hep, vw, the god, apis. In late Egyptian, 1069 to 700 BC, the phonemes ddg gradually merge with their counterparts ttk, dbn asterisk, dban, greater than Akkadian transcription t bon, dbn weight. Also, td often become td, but they are retained in many lexemes, becomes and trj with become 
at the end of a stressed syllable and eventually null word finally pd t asterisk pi at greater than akkadian transcription pi ta bow more changes occur in the 1st millennium bc and the 1st centuries ad leading to coptic 1st 17th centuries ad in sahidic hh had merged into s most often from h and h most often h Boharic and Akhmimic are more conservative and have a velar fricative, x, in Boharic, in Akhmimic. Pharyngeal asterisk had merged into glottal, after it had affected the quality of the surrounding vowels. Is not indicated orthographically unless it follows a stressed vowel, then, it is marked by doubling the vowel letter except in Boharic, Akhmimic, Zop, Sahidic and Lycopolitan, Sop, Boharic, Sop to be earlier asterisk D, D, G, Q are preserved as adjective T, C, K, K before vowels in Coptic. Although the same graphemes are used for the pulmonic stops, the existence of the former may be inferred because the stops, P T C K are allophonically aspirated P T C K before stressed vowels and sonorant consonants. In Boharic, the allophones are written with the special graphemes, but other dialects did not mark aspiration. Sahidic, Boharic, the sun. Thus, Boharic does not mark aspiration for reflexes of older asterisk D D G Q. Sahidic and Boharic asterisk Dib horn. Also, the definite article is unaspirated when the next word begins with a glottal stop. Boharic plus greater than the account. The consonant system of Coptic is as follows: asterisk various orthographic representations. See above. Topic: <laughs> Vowels. Here is the vowel system reconstructed for earlier Egyptian. Vowels are always short in unstressed syllables TPJ. Topic: asterisk ta pij first and long in open stressed syllables erm. Asterisk ra mac man they but can be either short or long in closed stressed syllables JNN. Topic asterisk, ya nan, we, Minnesota asterisk, ma n, to stay, in the late New Kingdom, after Ramses II, around 1200 BC, asterisk, a, changes to asterisk, o, like the Canaanite shift, her, the god, Horus asterisk, ha ra, greater than asterisk, ho r, Akkadian transcription, heru. Asterisk, u, therefore, changes to asterisk, e, snj, tree, asterisk, un, j, greater than asterisk, en, Akkadian transcription, sini, in the early New Kingdom, short stressed asterisk, i, changes to asterisk, e, mnj, meanies, asterisk, ma and ij, greater than asterisk, ma ni, Akkadian transcription, ma ne e. Later, probably 1000 to 800 BC, a short stressed asterisk, u, changes to asterisk, e, n, t, tanis, asterisk, unat, was borrowed into Hebrew as asterisk sun but would become transcribed as say e, nu, sa, nu during the Neo Assyrian Empire. Unstressed vowels, especially after a stress, become asterisk, nfr, good, asterisk, na fur, greater than asterisk, na f, Akkadian transcription na pa, asterisk, i, changes to asterisk, e, next to, and J W W soldier asterisk Y U greater than asterisk We earlier Akkadian transcription U I U later U E A in Sahidic and Boharic Coptic late Egyptian stressed asterisk A becomes asterisk O and asterisk E becomes A but are unchanged in the other dialects S N asterisk San brother greater than Sahidic and Boharic son Akhmimic Lycopolitan and Fayumic San R N name asterisk R I N greater than asterisk Ren greater than Sahidic and Boharic Ren Akhmimic Lycopolitan and Fayumic Ren However, Sahidic and Boharic preserve asterisk, a, and Fayumic renders it as e in the presence of guttural fricatives, db, 10,000, asterisk, ba, greater than Sahidic, Akhmimic and Lycopolitan tba, Boharic t ba, Fayumic tbe. In Akhmimic and Lycopolitan, asterisk, a, becomes, o, before etymological, jtrw, river, asterisk, jatra, greater than asterisk, jar, Greater than Sahidic Ior, E, Boharic Ior, Akhminic Yor, Yor, Fayumic Iaal, Iaar. Similarly, the diphthongs asterisk, aj, asterisk, a, which normally have reflexes, oj, au, in Sahidic and are preserved in other dialects, are in Boharic oi in non-final position and o respectively, to me, to them Sahidic eroi, ero, Akhminic and Lycopolitan arai, arau, Fayumic eli, elau, Boharic eroi, ero. Sahidic and Boharic preserve asterisk, e, before, 
etymological or from lenited, trj, or tonic syllable coda, with, sahidic and boharic ne, ni, to you, fem, nu te, nut, you, has acquired phonemic status, as is evidenced by minimal pairs like to approach, hun, ho n, asterisk, e, often surfaces as, i, next to, r, and after etymological pharyngeals, here. 400 CE Topic. Phonotactics Earlier Egyptian has the syllable structure cv smiley face, c, in which v is long in open stressed syllables and short elsewhere. In addition, cv, c or cvcc can occur in word final, stressed position. However, cv, c occurs only in the infinitive of biconsonantal verbal roots, cvcc only in some plurals. In later Egyptian, stressed cv, c, cvcc, and cv become much more common because of the loss of final dentals and glides. Topic. Stress Earlier Egyptian stresses one of the last two syllables. According to some scholars, that is a development from a stage in Proto-Egyptian in which the third last syllable could be stressed, which was lost as open post-tonic syllables lost their vowels, asterisk, chi upra, greater than asterisk, chi upra, transformation. Topic. Egyptological pronunciation As a convention, Egyptologists make use of an Egyptological pronunciation. In English, the consonants are given fixed values, and vowels are inserted according to essentially arbitrary rules. Two consonants, aleph and ayan, are generally pronounced. Yod is pronounced, i, w, u. Between other consonants, is then inserted. Thus, for example, the name of an Egyptian king is most accurately transliterated as Armis Sw and transcribed as Armsu. It means Ra has fashioned literally born him. In transcription, a, i, and u all represent consonants. For example, the name Tutankhamun (1341–1323 BC) was written in Egyptian as Twtnh Minnesota. Experts have assigned generic sounds to these values as a matter of convenience, which is an artificial pronunciation and should not be mistaken for how Egyptian was ever pronounced at any time. For example, the name TWTNH Minnesota is conventionally pronounced in English, but, in his lifetime, it was likely to be pronounced something like asterisk ta wa ti a n x u a ma n. Morphology Egyptian is fairly typical for an Afroasiatic language in that at the heart of its vocabulary is most commonly a root of three consonants, but there are sometimes only two consonants in the root, r, w, re, a, sun, the, is thought to have been something like a voiced pharyngeal fricative. Larger roots are also common and can have up to five consonants, shady hd, be upside down. Vowels and other consonants are added to the root to derive different meanings, as Arabic, Hebrew, and other Afroasiatic languages still do. However, because vowels and sometimes glides are not written in any Egyptian script except Coptic, it can be difficult to reconstruct the actual forms of words. Thus, orthographic stp, to choose, for example, can represent the stative whose endings can be left unexpressed, the imperfective forms or even a verbal noun, a choosing. Nouns Egyptian nouns can be masculine or feminine the latter is indicated, as with other Afroasiatic languages, by adding a t and singular or plural w, w, t, or dual way, tie. Articles, both definite and indefinite, do not occur until late Egyptian but are used widely thereafter. Pronouns. <inaudible> 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 Egyptian has three different types of personal pronouns, suffix, enclitic called dependent by Egyptologists and independent pronouns. There are also a number of verbal endings added to the infinitive to form the stative and are regarded by some linguists as a fourth set of personal pronouns. They bear close resemblance to their Semitic counterparts. The three main sets of personal pronouns are as follows. 
Demonstrative pronouns have separate masculine and feminine singular forms and common plural forms for both genders. Finally are interrogative pronouns. They bear a close resemblance to their Semitic and Berber counterparts. Topic. Verbs Egyptian verbs have finite and non-finite forms. Finite verbs convey person, tense, aspect, mood and voice. Each is indicated by a set of affixal morphemes attached to the verb. The basic conjugation is sdm, f, he hears. Non-finite verbs occur without a subject and are the infinitive, the participles and the negative infinitive, which Egyptian grammar, being an introduction to the study of hieroglyphs calls, negatival complement. There are two main tenses, aspects in Egyptian, past and temporally unmarked imperfective and aorist forms. The latter are determined from their syntactic context. Topic. Adjectives Adjectives agree in gender and number with the nouns they modify, snfr, the good man, and saint nfrt, the good woman. Attributive adjectives in phrases are after the nouns they modify, the great god, enter. However, when they are used independently as a predicate in an adjectival phrase, as the god is great, enter literally, great is the god, adjectives precede the nouns they modify. Topic. Prepositions Egyptian uses prepositions which, like in English and many other Indo-European languages, always come before the noun, never after. Topic. Adverbs Adverbs, in Egyptian, are at the end of a sentence, in z, n enter m. The god went there. There. M is the adverb. Here are some other common Egyptian adverbs. Topic. Syntax Old Egyptian, Classical Egyptian and Middle Egyptian have verb subject object as the basic word order. However, that changed in the later stages of the language, including Late Egyptian, Demotic and Coptic. The equivalent to, the man opens the door would be a sentence that would correspond, in the language's earlier stages, to opens the man the door, wns. The so-called status constructus combines two or more nouns to express the genitive, like in Semitic and Berber languages. The early stages of Egyptian have no articles, but the later forms use p, t and n. Like in other Afroasiatic languages, Egyptian uses two grammatical genders, masculine and feminine. It also uses three grammatical numbers, singular, dual and plural. However, later Egyptian has a tendency to lose the dual as a productive form. <laughs> Legacy The Egyptian language survived into the early modern period in the form of the Coptic language. The Copts were heavily persecuted under Islamic rule, especially under the Mamluk Sultanate, and Coptic survived past the 16th century only as an isolated vernacular. However, in antiquity, Egyptian exerted some influence on Classical Greek, so that a number of Egyptian loanwords into Greek survive into modern usage. Examples include Ebony Egyptian, HBNY, via Greek and then Latin Ivory Egyptian BW, literally Ivory, Elephant Natron via Greek Lily via Greek, from Coptic Hilary Ibis via Greek, from Egyptian HBJ Oasis via Greek, from Demotic Way Perhaps Barge possibly from Greek Baris Egyptian Boat, from Coptic Bari, Small Boat And possibly Cat and of course a number of terms and proper names directly associated with ancient Egypt, such as Pharaoh Egyptian, PR, literally, Great House, transmitted via Hebrew and Greek. The name Egypt itself is etymologically identical to that of the Copts. Ultimately from the late Egyptian name of Memphis, Hikupta, a continuation of Middle Egyptian, Hu Kp, home of the Ka, soul, of Ptah. A number of words in Biblical Hebrew are also traced to Egyptian. 
Apart from Pharaoh, most of these have not entered Greek, Latin, or English usage. See also Altegyptisches Wörterbuch, Ancient Egyptian literature, Coptic language, Demotic Egyptian, Egyptian Arabic, Egyptian hieroglyphs, Egyptian numerals, Hieratic, Transliteration of Ancient Egyptian. Notes <laughs>